it just froze on me let me know if you can see me Rachel have you got okay we're back I think okay all right you're back thank you okay Woo. guys the internet was so excited about this bracelet that it crashed <laughs> So the price, as you guys can see, the price is literally insane on this. Absolutely insane. Thank you, B. This is less than 2,000 pounds for the Tiffany Micro City Hardware Collection. It is 1,950 pounds, which is 2,464 US dollars. Chris Jenner, Kristen, all the most desirable people in the world are wearing these. It is so chic. It will not hang around long, this one. Trust me. It looks so good stacked up. So, look, you guys, I know that JJ was asking about stacking. Let me, um, sorry, I'm going to, I've got too many bracelets on. I've literally got too many bracelets on. All right. Hillary, I'm taking yours off, my darling. I'm taking yours off. First, first one sold. Hillary, it's yours. This one here, so the description will have the length cap, but let me give it to you. Now, I will tell you that this has been very cleverly designed um, so that you can adjust it. It is 19 and a half centimeters long. It's not, but let me show you what you can do. Let me show you what you can do with this you can actually connect the clasp to any of the links so you get this super cute little like tassel drop okay do you see so every one of the links is able to accommodate the clasp so wherever you need it to be it will be that length okay so I'll pop it on so you guys can see it. I, I really love this. It looks so amazing just with like a pair of jeans. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. The functionality of it is beautiful. I know. I know. B, it's an insane price. And it's come from, I can't really say who it's come from, but it's come from someone who, uh, well, she was on the red carpet last night. I'll tell you that much. That's all I'm going to say. So it's come from a very nice source. She's just clearing out jewels. Oh, okay. Hold on. I'm getting this on. I'm so bad at putting bracelets on. I'll put it on this one so it stands on its own. Rachel, why did you have to leave me? Why? Why, 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 why? <laughs> all right, guys, super chic on its own. Just imagine like a pair of jeans, just really casual, looks great as a stack, absolutely elegant, fun. I like, the thing I'm liking about the hardware collection is I feel like it, um, B, come back, said Rachel. <laughs> well said. Rachel's like, nope, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Living the dream, although it does get cold up there. It looks really nice with a small juice on clue, JJ. It looks really, really nice. Um, Lucy's torn between a necklace or a bracelet as a VCA piece. They both hold their value, Lucy. They both hold their value. Um, they both have got a hyperactive buyer collectors market. So it's just up to you. I will say that the pendants don't tend to get, um, B says get, get the 10 motif. It depends on your lifestyle. If it's something that you're specifically thinking you're going to want to resell one day, then I would say that the pendants tend to get less wear and tear than a bracelet. A bracelet does get more wear and tear. Um, that's just simply because your arms are moving around. I mean, look at the way these, you know, these are moving. They're part of my hands. They're part of my gestures. The pendant, as you can see, is just sitting there, not moving. But you do have, you do get the option of making it um, 
yeah it's making it into a necklace with the extender like b says um guys you are so great at giving everybody advice okay so jj kath this is the city hardware micro bracelet i'm gonna show you it one more time real close up close and personal this has to find a new home because it is so chic the price is insane like you say over three thousand pounds retail and this is less than two thousand pounds remember we're covering all your customs and your duties wherever you are in the world you only have to pay 35 pounds for shipping or 10 pounds for domestic shipping and you are getting that free jewelry pouch with every purchase so hillary is getting a beautiful red one who else is going to grab something gorgeous we got about a half hour left okay we got about a half hour left so i'm going to keep going through i know we got requests for earrings i know we've got requests for yellow gold cartier guys keep your requests coming in i have more things set aside for you um let me show you one other now these i showed recently um jj it's entirely up to you it's entirely up to you the micro version i mean i'll show it to you next to my love bracelet again so this is it next to a standard size love bracelet I think as a um, as a sort of stacking piece, it works so beautiful. Okay, that's it. Standard size love bracelet. I'd say it's probably a very similar thickness to a Juste en Clou thin or a love thin, just so you know. Probably very similar, but really, really cute really really cute of course lucy we're that's what we're here for we're all here to help okay i'm gonna pop this one back remember it does come with its box and it's beautiful beautiful tiffany bag all ready to go lucy if you're looking for one in particular send me an email i'm happy to help source one for you we are getting more stuff in all the time. JJ, I think Cartier, sorry, I think T T Tiffany would be able to adjust it for you. I would suggest going to Tiffany for that adjustment because it is slightly, um, I think in that instance, I could do it, but if I were you, I'd rather get Tiffany to do it. Um, if, you, if you take it to Tiffany, if you're not happy with the time or anything like that, I'm happy to bring it back, happy to do it for you, but I'd rather, personally, if it was me, I'd have Tiffany do it, okay? All right, perfect. Yeah, Lucy, send me an email, sarah at luxurypromise.com. Let's find you your dream bracelet. I have someone's dream bracelet arriving this week, and it's going off to the far, far flungs of the world. So I'm, I'm doing the sourcing all the time. Very happy to help. Sandy, <laughs> Sandy's going to be my... My Cindy's already like my glamorous personal assistant. <laughs> um, not necessarily, JJ. You don't need the original receipt. Don't need the original receipt. Not necessarily. Mm -mm. That's fine. Okay, right. That one's there. That one's there. Um, okay, we haven't got a huge amount of time left. We've got about a half hour. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out some more pieces that I've set aside for you guys. Now, this, okay, now this is another total, total bargain alert, okay? This is genuinely a massive bargain. This is AJC0436. So if you guys have been looking for a full set Cartier piece for an absolute steal, I've got you. I've got you here. AJC0436. Zero four three six. Now this is in its beautiful original box. It comes with its certificate, so it's full set. And this is a C. Descartier ring in eighteen karat white gold. Oh, it just looks so beautiful sitting in its box like that. So let me show you up close and personal. C. Descartier has got the double C 
motif here and then it has a beautiful design where it actually has a polished raised exterior and then a matte finish recessed section this thick band here running all the way around this is a gorgeous gorgeous ring it's the sort of thing that if you're a cartier lover you know the collection it's instantly recognizable for people who are cartier fans um i'm going to show you what it looks like on this one is a size 50 and it is less than a thousand pounds this is a bargain size 50 for less than a thousand pounds full set 18 karat white gold remember cartier always charges a premium for white gold so if you're looking at the different collections, Cartier charges more for white gold than for rose gold. I actually have this exact same ring in yellow gold downstairs, no box, no certificate, and it is on at 1200. So this at 975 is a steal. So that's 1,231 US dollars. The condition is really, really good on it. I love the combination of the matte finish of the recessed center part and the polished exterior framework, as it were. It makes it so chic, very, very sort of um, industrial feel to it, very very cool if you're sort of the fan of like brushed palladium hardware for your hermes bags this is definitely the ring for you so i've got it stacked up with a plain band obviously it looks great on its own as well but this is what it looks like stacked um let's just go through i'll show you the certificate Ta -da! um so cartier certificate and this one is from 2002. So it is a vintage one, 2002. It's a vintage one, but still full set. Uh, a size 50 Macy in the US is a K. Oh, sorry. Uh, a five and a quarter. Size 50 in the European size is five and a quarter. Lucy, I actually do have a band ring, a Cartier band ring. I'm going to show you next. Um, that is another one. It comes with its certificate. So, Lucy, I will show you next. So, five and a quarter, Macy, for the U.S. sizing. Let me just show it to you. Oh, I just include S. What, a ring or a bangle? Do you need a ring or a bangle, S? And is it a thin or a thick that you're looking for? Oh, is it too small, Maisie? Oh, makes a pinky ring. Where does a pinky ring, Maisie? Seriously, go wild. Don't hold back. Less than a thousand pounds. Now, honestly, go online and you will see the C. de Cartier's, not even full sets, selling for 1500 plus. This is a full set for less than a thousand pounds. I actually saw, um, S, send me an email. Send me an email, sarah at luxurypromise.com. Um, and let me know what ring size you need and if you need it thick or thin. And I will try my hardest for you, S. They are very hard to get hold of right now. Very, very hard to get hold of. Um, but I will try my best for you. Okay. Um, I actually saw this exact same ring was going up for auction for, I think it was 1000 to 1500 as an estimate. Plus, you'd have to pay the buyer's premium on top. Uh oh, perfect. Elle's got a pinky ring. Good job. I love a pinky ring. So this is a great price. The auction market is already higher than our retail price, which is insane. Absolutely insane. Now I do have it in yellow gold as well downstairs, but it doesn't have a box or a certificate. But this is the white gold version here with that brushed interior. Whoop and the beautiful polished exterior stacked up here. Go for a pinky ring, Macy.
<laughs> okay, so let me show you the other band ring that I have. I'm gonna pop this one back. So the C de Cartier ring is going back. Now we did show the love thin love ring that was also a size 50 earlier. Um, so let me put this one over here. Now that's the first time I think I've ever shown that ring. So this is brand new stock, guys. Newness, newness has landed. Um, okay, yeah. So I've also got AJC0435. So this is, okay. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so this one does come with its Cartier certificate. And this is one of the Trinity rings, but it's the fixed version. The bands don't move, they're stacked together. And you can see you have 18 karat yellow gold, white gold, and rose gold. And it's a stacked Trinity ring, all fused together. You can see the hallmarks at the base there. And this one is, show you the marks on the inside. There we go, come into focus, there we go. So this one is a Cartier size 50 as well. Kath, this is so chic. This is such, let me show you stacked up, okay? If you had like an eternity ring, this would look amazing next to it. Absolutely. So this is it stacked up with a plain band ring. Condition is excellent. Guys, this is only 695 pounds. 695 pounds. Kath, it is so chic. Lucy loves it. I'll show it to you on its own so you can get the idea. But I do like it stacked. I think it looks really, really chic stacked. Guys, this is less than 700 pounds for a Cartier ring with its certificate in re just excellent condition. This is the certificate, comes with it, original envelope and everything all complete there. Um, this is a vintage piece as well. This is from 1999. I love it, heritage guys, heritage collection here. All right, I'm just gonna take it take off my wedding band and show it to you just as it is so great stacking ring if you like the look of like a stack but you don't want to mess around with buying three different rings you've got it kind of sorted here they're all already there together so cute right so so cute and the condition as you can see is beautiful Great heritage piece from Cartier, vintage pieces. Cartier is one of those brands that just goes up and up and up and up in value. I know, so good for stacking. Imagine it with like one of those micro thin um, eternity rings. Oh my God, that would look so chic. So, so cute. Okay, so guys, that has been pinned. We've gone through a lot of really fun new pieces today. I'm so glad Hillary got her emerald bracelet, but I still have two available. I still have this diamond tennis vape, uh, bracelet available. I can't believe this isn't gone. Alhambra pendant, guys. 20, uh, 2,350 pounds for the Alhambra pendant. I've got more. Don't worry. There's still plenty more. I've got some more Tiffany. I've got some Chopard. Let me know what you guys are interested in. There's plenty more to go around. Um, let's see. Now, I wanna know, have you guys already bought your Christmas presents? You already got your own Christmas presents. Do you buy your own or do you wait for a surprise? <laughs> uh, I think it's fascinating what people do. Okay, let me show you. You have one of yours, yay! Now I do have another pink sapphire piece as well. And oh, I was gonna do the earrings. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
My husband and I have both bought our own Christmas presents and given them to each other, and then we've squirreled them away. <laughs> to be honest, I think that's the generous way of doing it. Because we're not waiting around, hoping, making the other person sweat. So this is what I want. And look, we've even gone and bought it for ourselves. I consider that very generous. Very generous indeed. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you a pair of earrings that I'm absolutely gaga for. AHC 1623. AHC 1623. I am seriously, seriously smitten with these earrings. So I know I've got people who love the City Hardware collection out there. Now, this is not Tiffany, but this to me has all the vibes of the Tiffany City Hardware collection, but not not the price tag. So these are brand new, never been worn, 18 karat yellow gold with diamond little rundels around them. So these are all pave set with brilliant cut diamonds. You've got 0.6 of a carat of brilliant cut diamonds. Ah, uh, yeah, there you go. Marla Aaron vibes. Aren't they so chic? I literally was like, oh, I want them, I want them, I want them when I found them. I was, oh, I was visiting one of my suppliers. These came out and I was just drooling, drooling, drooling with these. Okay, so you've got 0.61 of a carat of brilliant cut diamonds. Again, we're only ever using natural diamonds never going to show you synthetic diamonds or anything like that and you can see that they are set all the way around they're not just um they're not just set here rachel hasn't pinned these yet Maisie. you are eager eager beaver rachel's gonna put us out of our misery in a second there she goes so these are 1680 pounds look at the sparkle Look at the sparkle on those diamonds. Let me try and get a better camera lighting situation for you guys. That's a little bit better, less yellow there. Oh my God, I love these. They are so chic. I'm just gonna hold one up to the ear so you can get an idea of scale. I have taken off my own earrings, but guys, look how cool these look. Oh my gosh, I love them. They have this sort of rectangular form and the earrings open really, really easily too, like this. So beautiful, beautiful shape. Absolutely gorgeous. Very easy to put on and off and very secure. Here, here. Love that sound. And look how cool they are. And I love that they don't skimp. They haven't just put diamonds at the front. The diamonds are actually going all the way around so that you get 360 diamonds, which is so important, really. You want more diamonds, don't we? These guys, honestly, I can't tell you how chic these are. Cannot tell you how chic these are. Condition is absolutely perfect. They would make a great evening pair of earrings, but still have like a really fun industrial edge. Personally, I like big jewelry, so I'd wear these to the office. I'd wear these every day, wear these shopping, wear these to Waitrose. Heck, I'd wear these anywhere. But yeah, if you were looking for something maybe for a bit more um, high impact, you wanted something that's not too over the top, but still quite impactful, these have got practicality, they've got glitz, they've got glam, they have a sort of toughness, they have that sort of, personally to me, I can, I can see a sort of homage, not saying they're a copy at all, but I can see in a sort of homage to the Tiffany collection that we've all just been going gaga over. And I really, really love them. Perfect condition, brand new, never been worn, 1680. Go get them now, 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 now. So cute. So, so cute. Okay. Ta-da! All right. So, guys, we've got about 15 minutes left. I do have more. I haven't gotten through everything, but we're 
you know, we've, we've got plenty. Um, so if there is anything that you have seen and you want me to recap, please let me know. Um, but I'm going to keep going, but also equally, if there's other things that you guys want, I know we had lots of yellow gold Cartier requests. So we've done a quite a lot of that. I do have a Cartier D'Amour necklace as well, which I can pull out for you guys. Pinky rings, Rosh, everyone's asking for pinky rings. Um, Rosh, what size are you? Cause it's hyper, hyper variable. So we've shown a few size fifties. If you're looking for smaller than that, I do have some, um, do you still have these? Okay, hold on. Um, I do have some smaller size. Okay, let me see. Hold on, 1611. What is 1611? I do have those. I, I do still have those. They are active on the website. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a live from the vault show. But if you need me to bring them up right now, I am happy to do that. I can ask. Just give me, just let me know. Kath, I have a few Tiffany rings. I have tomorrow at 10 a.m. I've got a live from the vault, build your own show. I have a, I have a, a Diamonds by the Yard crossover ring. Oh, that's, hey, but I'm happy to bring that. If you want me to get, I've got the phone, I can text and say, hi, bring these up right now. Um, so let me know. Otherwise, if you wanna hang around and we'll show them tomorrow, they are stunning. I absolutely, like, so beautiful. Um, so guys, yeah, lots of build your own fun things happening, but it's an only a one hour show. So we're going to move fast and we're going to move quick. So guys, if there's something you want to see, no, happy to show you now, or we can wait for that. Okay. Um, right. Let's go. Now pink sapphires. Let me show you another pink sapphire. So when, since we're talking about pink sapphires, I do have something which I am flabbergasted like a 47 inch. Okay, Rosh, I think I do have some smaller rings that size. Um, they, I think I've got some Cartier ones. Um, Rosh, uh, I'm trying to remember. But yes, tomorrow from the vault, if you're able to join me at 10 a.m., I will rummage around and pull out the goodies for you. But you can also email me, sarah at luxurypromise.com, and I will find them and email you directly with the options. Okay. All right. So guys, this is AHC 1471. And this is my little pink sapphire and diamond stacking ring. So we had a little bit of a pink love, pink sapphire love in when I showed that Susanna Callan ring this morning, or sorry, pendant first thing this morning. This is another amazing option. And again, very unusually set with princess cut pink sapphires and princess cut diamonds. So this one is in 18 karat white gold. This is another absolutely fabulous stacking ring. I'm just going to show you what it looks like against a band ring. So, so chic. And the price on this is literally bonkers. I genuinely cannot believe this is here. Um, I'll confirm the size. This is actually, so do you guys see the way that the edge has those little sort of all the way around? I'm going to go really close in. Do you guys see what I'm talking about? <coughs> Excuse me. I need some water. So that's actually called milligrain setting. So this one's a 53. Thanks, Rachel. This is a 53. So you can see it's a little big for my finger here, which is a 50. So that, those little dot, 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 dots, that's actually called milligrain setting. And it's a beautiful technique. It was actually pioneered and came to the forefront in the Belle Epoque period. So early, early 20th century, about 1900 to 1915. Um, and I love seeing it in contemporary jewelry. All those sort of angular lines of the princess cut diamonds and that gorgeous sort of detail of the milligrain, just beautiful. This is only 522 pounds. 
522 pounds, which is insane for pink sapphires and natural diamonds, 659 US dollars. And this is the cute little stacking ring. It's a size 53, so you can pop it on for, you know, what whatever finger would work. We could have it ever so slightly sized for you, just a little tiny bit, I'd say, maybe one or two sizes, because it is a half hoop ring. But it is just such a cute stacking ring and if you are a pink sapphire lover you are not finding pink sapphires for 522 pounds anywhere right now like at all so there we go that one is there that's up there guys i can't believe this is still here someone needs to grab this so cute would look amazing with an eternity band next to it if you wanted to stack it up or maybe even like a cartier band as well i have to say oh actually that would be really cute if you had it with like a love ring a thin love ring so cute okay so pink sapphires we started the show talking with we started the show with this onyx alhambra necklace now we don't tend to show alhambra in the daytime but we had this come in i wanted you guys to be able to take advantage of it sabrina and i are doing five uh sorry 6 p.m on friday and that show is going to knock your socks off so whatever you're doing keep your diary free if you have been looking for Alhambra, if you have been looking for that special Christmas present, find jewelry, that, that's the show. Like really, that's, that's our Christmas blockbuster go. And that will be our biggest pre-Christmas sale. So we're not waiting around for anything else. That is the big one, okay? So we started with um, Alhambra Onyx Pendant right here available. I've also shown these amazing emerald bracelets. We've already had them coming off my wrist. You guys are taking them home, but I've got the five carat and the two carat, and then I've got the 3.7 carat diamond tennis bracelet as well. There is so much more we have gone through. Or like We haven't even gone through them all. It's insane. Um, I do have more Cartier to show you. What is this? Okay, I've got a Cartier love ring in size 53. I have got another white gold Cartier love ring in size 53. So I've got two white gold love rings. I've got some Stephen Webster and I've got some Masika, which I haven't even had a chance to show you guys. I've got some Chopard, which I haven't even had a chance. Everyone went bonkers when we showed the Chopard uh, carnelian pendant on Friday. That sold instantly. So I actually have the matching... Um, the matching bracelet here which i'm just gonna i think i'll end the show with that one um so give me a second let me get this camera back up and let me just get this skew for you guys so this is avc 1561 you guys are still with me everyone's gone a bit quiet Ta -da. Ta -da. So this is Chopard Happy Hearts Collection. So Chopard actually launched the Happy Hearts Collection as part of a charity drive in 2015. It was like a sneak peek and then they waited seven years to actually bring it out as a full collection. So this one here is the collection that they launched in 2022. So this is very, very new. You can see it comes in its beautiful Chopard box, all looking very fabulous, that navy leather, beautiful under the Christmas tree. Um, and this one is actually lapis lazuli and natural diamonds in 18 karat white gold. <coughs> so this collection is one of Chopard's newest, 
the carnelian heart pendant that we had in went like that on Friday. So for those of you who have missed out and are still looking for the Chopard Happy Hearts, this is less than 2,000 pounds. This is 1955, which is 2,469. These retail around 3,000 pounds. So you are getting a massive, massive thousand pounds off retail for the Chopard bracelet. You can see, now Lapis is one of the more desirable gemstones. Now when it comes to Alhambra, for instance, Lapis, they don't make it anymore. They made it in the 70s and 80s, and it is now hyper, hyper collectible for Alhambra. Um, I actually have just had a Lapis uh, opera length necklace come across my radar which is pretty unbelievable, actually. I'm still kind of speechless. But look how beautiful this looks on that big, beautiful navy blue heart. I'm gonna show you, actually, I'm gonna pop the diamond tennis bracelet because I think having a little accent like this with it, I'm not suggesting build up a huge stack, but the delicacy of the tennis bracelet and that beautiful fluid motion with the rigid, um, with the rigid nature of the Chopard bracelet, I think is gonna make a beautiful combination. Once again, I can't get a bracelet on to save my life. I don't know what's wrong with me. I definitely needed like a lady in waiting. Oh, here we go. There, okay. So guys, look how chic they look together. <laughs> No one would know. I've been working in the jewelry industry for, you know, almost, well, just, yeah, 13 years, basically. 13 years I've been in the jewelry industry. Still struggle to put on jewelry. <laughs> oh, God. So, guys, check it out. I'm just going to flick it over. This is my last piece, but trust me. Oh, I've definitely saved the best to last. Look how gorgeous those look together. Oh, so, so elegant. So chic. Timeless. Can't go wrong. Less than 2,000 pounds for the Chopard bracelet. We've got the diamond tennis bracelet here, which is under 1,000 pounds a carat. Bargain. Guys, Christmas is around the corner. Don't hesitate. If you are looking for something for yourself, for your bestie, for your mom, for your sister, any of these pieces would be so welcome. They will have them for life. They're not they're not something that you just go, oh, that's really nice, and it's gone. It's back of this jump back of the wardrobe with the other jumpers and everything like this. This is beautiful jewelry that will stand with them forever. And of course you all know it's great investments. <laughs> You know, because we keep selling them. They keep coming back in. We keep selling them. Circular economy. And that, yeah, remember, you're doing something so good for the world, for the economy, because everything here, pre-loved. Pre-loved. Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap up. Rachel, is uh, Dubai on next? I think Joanna is on next. So you guys will be amazed at the beautiful things she has got. And then Sabrina is back tonight, live from the vault. The Hermes Vault Show is tonight. Thank you guys so much for being here with me. If there is anything that you like the look of and you want some more questions, you want some more images or questions or videos or a private little video like this of me and you talking, very happy to do that. Um, otherwise, I will see you tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock where I will be live from the vault. Build your own show, the pink sapphires, whatever it is you want. I am there for you. Small size pinky rings. I'm keeping it all in mind. I'm keeping it all in mind. I will pull them out. But I will see you at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Have a lovely night, guys. Enjoy and stay tuned for...